Hello, today we are going to talk about the first stage of test process known as test planning. Let's take a look at the activities that make up this stage. The first activity is defining the objective of testing. What are we going to test? How are we going to do it? And what is our roadmap and our timeline? Now, let's look at a diagram we are already familiar with. Before we start, remember that test planning concerns itself with high-level activities, like when we are going to start or end something. It isn't an activity by itself. As we saw before, test planning deals with when testing starts, when analysis and design starts, when implementation starts and who is in charge of it, when testing ends and when the software is released in the market. All of this is planning. It takes decisions about high-level activities, but planning is not itself an activity. The second point is approach. We have defined the objectives, but we need an approach to meet the objectives that we defined. The third point is revisit. We now have the activity and the approach, but we also have to monitor whether we are going by the plan or not. Depending on feedback, we might have to revisit our planning and redefine our objectives. So monitoring and control. This is a process that will monitor every step here and check if we are meeting the implementation and execution timeline or not. If not, then it will communicate with the planning stage where the plans will be adjusted and the objectives redefined and the roadmap will be drawn again. Maybe the timing will be changed or the resources could be increased. So first we define the objective then we see how we can achieve that objective and finally, we monitor whether we are achieving that objective or not. Now, the planning stage starts with the initiation of the test process. As soon as the test process starts, so does the planning stage. Then it ends with the closer activity. Once the testing activity closes, so does the planning activity. Between the start and stop, there are several more steps. There is the test strategy, which helps define the path we will follow during testing. The next is, what is the entry criteria? What do we need to accept the software? What is the test execution schedule? When will we execute our tests? What is the exit criteria? When can we say that the testing is over? And many other such questions will be asked in between these. So, these are the activities between start and stop of test process. We will go deeper into these in chapter 5. For now, this is all. I'll see you in the next one. Happy testing.